yeah so you're welcome back so like i was saying you don't need to leave this straight that will that that's the reason why if you if you look at some dresses some tops you see a bulge the zipper bulging out this way from the back the the top might be perfectly fitted like even the person putting it on might be feeling tight a little bit tight but then if you check behind you still see some excess here that is because the dress does not actually take the shape the back shape of the client so we want to bend this zipper allowance inside by at least one inch so this is what we want to do and we said it starts from about halfway the half length or a little bit above halfway the half length when i say half length you know what i'm talking about i'm talking about shoulder to waist that is your half length so i will need to change the location of this zipper allowance to one inch inside so this is what i'll do i will come here and i'll mark one inch inside and what i'll do is i'll join this there and i'll clean this off and i'll come back again and measure now my new zipper allowance which should be 1.5 inches that means taking this one inch inside again okay sorry i brought the camera a bit closer so you can see this clearly now let me go back if we have a normal zipper allowance this way and this is about 1.5 inches width okay 1.5 so i said shift this line inside by one inch at least one inch this is one inch right so i can clean this off and make my new zipper allowance that way and i'll do the same thing to this shift in by one inch again and that is the point there and i'll clean this off again and i'll get a new zipper allowance this way so you see now now our zipper allowance is no longer straight is now kind of taking the shape of the back a little bit now you can proceed with your measurements and this is what you do remember this is our waistline but we don't have on that bust line for the back because there's no bust for the back so what you do is remember our shoulder to bust for the front was about 10 inches shoulder to be 10 should that to you be was 13.5 and shoulder to waist which is the half length you're working with 16 right so this is what you do difference between shoulder to waist and shoulder to bust for the front if you calculate 16 minus 13 is 13.5 is 2.5 so to get your ub line on that bust line for the back raise this up with 2.5 inches you know that will become three inches now because we gave half inch for seam allowance at the base so raise up by three inches that gives you the under bust line for the back remember like i said there is no under bust for the back or we are trying to locate a line on which we can take our measurements now you can go to you can step up from the under bust with about the same measurement again let's say three inches and that will still take you to somewhere around the bust line for the back remember again there is no bust at the back right you can step this up with about 2.5 inches from here or three you'll get to somewhere close to the bust line for the back so now we can take our measurements right so if we said bust for back 
is 16.5 divided by 2 because this is folded into 2 that will give us 8 and a quarter this is 8 and a quarter right 